Welcome back to part seven of Outer Wilds. Let's suit up and let's get dangerous. So, I got possessed by a ghost twice and also fell into a black hole and all the and everything else. Okay, so apparently this is another entrance to get to the Hanging City too. That's what I'm taking a look at. Apparently, that's what we're looking for. I don't know how this is going to get us there, but... Wait a minute. Are you freaking serious? That's awesome! There's another way to get here! Okay, I'll have to keep this in mind. This is so much better than doing the wooden platforms. Okay, well, I found something out. Good thing I, I jam walked through this. Hi, Jen, you guys are very useful. And hopefully I can avoid the ghost. This isn't technically a tree. Oh, wouldn't this fill my oxygen? I guess not. So what's this gonna do? Let's see where this takes us. Man, these space elevators are neat. Nice! Alright, we're back to the Hanging City in exactly one minute. That was super fast. Let's avoid the ghost, shall we? Unlike the last time. Okay, ghost, where are you this time? I just want to scan this thing. I feel strange. Trying to recreate uh, Inanona's warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice. And for the Black Hole Forge, which I'm looking for, to be in my care and not his. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can probably... Well, I think I can do this, probably. But if what my excitement has caught in my assessment of my own abilities... Well, that sucks. Still, all I can give is my best, and as Ananona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's headed, or what's needed. Let me get closer. I will have Clary and Root in the forge, and I will have my clan. Or I have my clan. I'm not alone. Good to know. Hypothesis. This will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor. And deeply. Was I brought in voluntary to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw... Or, okay, never saw an enormous warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've been off a larger portion than I can consume? Uh, in other words, they're saying like, Hey, what if I bit more than I can chew? Hey, ghost. Just want to be sure. So there a tree. Well, too late now. Keep moving forward. Okay, so we got to start from the Meltwater District, which is on the second floor. Alvor starts. Okay. Okay, so we need to go to the first floor. That looks like that's the what we need to do. Huh. Okay. These scrolls seem useful. Wish I could just kind of leave. Oh, the gravity. Hmm. Wait, is there a ghost? I don't feel like screwing with the ghost today. I died already. Plenty of time. Seems okay. Just gonna put this in here. Solution one. We could retrieve the warp core for the vessel. Hey, that's where I was before. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, recall those present when the vessel crashed. Uh, said it would sustain lethal injuries. There's no guaranteed reward for this risk. Okay. 
Even if it's no longer, or even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable uh, blueprint, provided we are able to transport it back here. That's a no-go! Perhaps, okay, perhaps we can still repair it. My grandmother told me that there was a little, uh, there was a little time to assess the nature of the extent of the damage. This will require a return to Dark Bramble. Uh, Blum, my father, said, Many good nomai perished there. That doesn't sound great. That sounds horrifying. My mentor, Colossus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied uh, angler, uh, fish, okay, angler fish, um, fossil, and amber twin. Using that knowledge, we can avoid the angler fish entirely. What, uh, okay. My Lauren, uh, I don't know what their name is, and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish. What's a anglerfish? But our high hypothesis was never tested on you know, a live specimen. I remember the anglerfish fossil. We used to play in fossil fish cave at when we were children. Interesting. I don't know what this anglerfish is, but it sounds dangerous since they're kind of a knowledge in it. Let's put that in there. Because the whole point of this is knowledge. The Ash Twin Project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How are we able to attain it? I wonder what the Ash Twin Project is. Yeah, this is what I was reading before. Yeah, just let me hear, so where does this go? This again. Yeah, this is different. Let's see what this scroll says. Well, we're about to find out, but I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything else here that I missed. You know, pretty much this is a mystery, so I kind of had to pay attention. Uh, solution 2. We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Abandoning the vessel's warp core in its uh, casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little no hope of recovering. I think it would be best to relearn, I think. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core more relatively, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. This is the safest path for our clan. Is it the safest, or is the safest path the best one? Our goal is to worth the risk. It is, though. We tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the, the Eye of the Universe is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm, obviously. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but the poke was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design, or Black Hole Forge, which everyone's freaking hitting our heads with it, with the hammer, about the Black Hole Forge, seems very important. Is adept to uh, creating simpler... wait. Simpler cores, interesting. I believe I can be of use here. The Vessel's Warp Core was, re was created before my time, but I don't know explain many of his designs to me. Oh, thanks, Chicken Log. That's important. I do like how we're attaining these knowledge. It's very important. Okay, so we gotta get to the first floor, that's a fact. What is this? Black hole- Ah! The black hole forge controls. Which we can't really enter. We're gonna go in here. Huh! Well, that's interesting.
seems like it took us somewhere. But they didn't do anything. And I think this is where this comes into play. Something seems off about this. Let's just keep going back here. Huh? What's this? <clears throat> Skull District. Melt well, okay, Melt Water District. I Shrine District. Black Forge District. Yeah, like I was saying in the walkthrough. So how do we get to the first one? Is it worth the risk on this one? That's what I'm wondering, because I don't know if it goes or nearby. We do need to get to the first floor. And we're kind of on a time loop. Okay, so we have to get to the second floor. Ah, these are symbols to get to specific floors. And the melt water is with, like, looks like that symbol. So... It's there. Right? Right. Nope, that's not it. What symbol is that? Seems legit. It's a gravity wall. Nice. No wonder I was looking sideways. Neat! That's very convenient. I love the gravity walls. They're so convenient. Trying to find the first floor. Imagine it's all the way bottom. Nope, that's black hole. Damn, we gotta be nearby. Sir, goes here. Man, this place makes me nervous so much. Because the kills are so meticulous. Or, not meticulous, they're. Everywhere. Shoot. Okay. Well, I'm not going that way. Where the heck am I going? Not there. Black hole alert. Got it. Ah, Frickin' ghost batter. Man, this hanging city is a maze. That's a fact. So we're going up there then. Ah. Well, I mean that's gravity wall. Hmm. Yeah, three minutes. Is this it? Okay, I guess we're going this way. Is this taking me? And it goes better. This sure didn't take me anywhere. Oh, that's definitely crushed. Looks like I'm going this floor. Yeah, 
we definitely need to find some oxygen. Alright, we need to find that symbol, so I feel like we are getting closer, to a degree. Shoot! Oh wait! Right, tree. That makes sense. Hmm. All right. Take the risk. Ow! Did I screw up? Seems like I screwed up. Black man over there. Just gonna have to get. What the heck? That was weird. Come on. Are you saying I get. Oh, yeah, right. Forgot this let me over there. This was alternate path. Hmm. So we have to go through the first floor. How do we do that? No, seriously, how do we do that? Come on, dirt. Lead me into where I need to go. Oh, huh? okay. Two sets of stairs. I'll lead you a room with a large. Okay. Oh, snap! We need to go to a different planet. Yep, it looks like we're going to a different planet. That's what it's saying. So we need to get to the Black Forge, but we actually need to go to a different planet. Feels like a bridge. What the heck? That's interesting. Interesting. And that just puts me back here. Vitals critical. Oh, okay, so I taking that much damage is just pretty much designed to screw me over. Good to know. Alright, so two sets of stairs. That's where it takes me. Okay, so I am in the right spot. This is some kind of switch. And that leads me to the Black Forge controls. Good to know. Okay, to the top of the city?
Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. So that's the Black Forge. I was not paying attention. And so that will put it in, in, you know, in front of the city. And that's where the Ash Twin project will come into play. Okay, good to know. Alright, so now we have to somehow get to our spaceship. Which will take a while. Wow, the hanging city was one of those unique ones. Well, the fastest way we could do is basically go through the ship and shoot. But I'd rather, you know, avoid all of that, so let's just not do that. This is unique. Right, this gets me back to my ship. Ah, oh, shoot! I ran out of time! Yep, I should have been paying attention to the... I think that's the sign. Dang it! I didn't think enough time to worry past! Ah! <sighs> well, sounds like I'm very much screwed. Might as well read my ship log. Learn what I learned because, you know, I'm utterly screwed. Yeah, I learned a lot. I don't know what the angler fish uh, fossil is. <sighs> well, I guess see you in the next time, Loop. Huh. Dying in Brittle Hollow. Again. Well, at least we actually have context of what we're doing. Uh, what is causing the sun to implode to... Well, I guess I might as well buckle up. See you in the next time, Lou. I didn't know I took that long to get there. Ah, well, that was something. Sure learned a lot. That's a fact. 24 minutes. Yeah, dude, you're lucky you're not going to the vacuums of space. It's a freaking terrifying place. You're lucky you get to roast marshmallows all day. Hardest job ever, roasting marshmallow and not thinking about what's in the solar system. You know, I'm just gonna let it roast. Let's just see what happens. Do we get a trophy if we let this roast and be ruined? Nope. It's just a waste of good marshmallow. Fire! Anyway. You know what? What happens if we basically roast it? Roast. And toss. Oh. Really? Okay, let's just toss it. 
Oh, okay, so we're just throwing marshmallows. And... It doesn't burn when you throw it in there. That's kind of interesting. Alright, so for once, we are actually going to Ash Twin. The Ash Twin project that we've been talking about. It's kind of interesting that now we have to go to another planet. Feels like ages. Alright, so let's see what is actually the Ash Twin. Did I say I lie a lot? No, it doesn't matter. <sighs> Buckle up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, Ash Twin, where are you? It's gotta be nearby. With all these planets. Or it's right freaking there. Looks like we're going there. In the facility of the sun. Why is it in the sun? Why is it in the sun? Why is it in the sun? No! Abort! 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 Shoot. Bro, was I really killed by the sun again? I just started! I just had marshmallows and I was feeling good. Then I got killed by the sun again. What the? F <laughs> oh, let's just get this planet on with. How the shit did I get killed by the sun again? Gonna admit, getting killed by the sun again is kind of one of the things that actually has pissed me off. Alright, Ash Twin, let's freaking do this! And hopefully it's not into the sun's facility. Going to Ash Twin, and hopefully it doesn't go into the sun's orbit and I freaking die. Preparing descent. Not into the sun, not into the sun! Firing retro rockets! Okay, I got you now. I got you now. Okay, match its velocity. Land. Land on that sucker. <sighs> Nine in the sun. Ah. <sighs> well, at least we're not in the sun. I'll take that. Okay, let's buckle up, repair the ship, and then we're gonna find this place. Why are we in the sun's orbit? Still doesn't make sense to me. Ah, <sighs> that's all done with. Hopefully we don't waste time so the sad, depressing music plays. Or it just feels like you failed, like... And not in the best way. It's just like, da, 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 you fell. You should not have been wasting time fishing this game. And that's how it feels. Okay. Just carefully. Don't go into the sun. Don't go into the sun. Okay, according to the walkthrough, we need to find a blocky silhouette and cactus. So it's supposed to be nearby. That's why I'm kind of exploring this. Where is this thing? Wait. Okay, it says that... Okay, so as the sand is removed from the surface. Oh, 
Okay, you'll find a building with a blocky silhouette and a cactus. So it's gotta be nearby. Come on, you gotta be Kevin. It's gotta be here. This is the whole point. Wait, what is that? Hmm. Okay. Where the heck is this place? Wait, is that it? Is it? I guess not. I must be nearby. Something about Sam. Come on, it's gotta be here. Well, hey, hold on. Something's being sucked. What in the heck is all that about? Huh? What the? What the? Sitting here, things are happening. What the? That's weird. That is weird. What is going on here? I don't even know what that's all about. It's just freaky. I don't know what that's all about. Man. Oh, no one has basically gets annoyed by pretty much spinning planet because this planet spins a lot. Ugh. What is up with that planet? I don't know what is up with that planet. It's freaking me out. Trying to find what we need to find. Ah! Ah! Frickin' space travel. That's the real battle. There was a pillar, and I don't know what that's all about. I'm kinda curious about that. Let's check it out. Because it's been there, and I don't know what's this all about. Or maybe we can land on top of it. That's what I'm wondering. Man, the sun just keeps getting closer over here. Wait, I think I saw something. I think that's the silhouette. That is definitely it. That is definitely it. I was not expecting that. It sure took a while. Okay. It's very creepy. Okay. Gravity room. 
up, huh? Okay. So, it, it was kind of like a time cycle. That's kind of odd. I was not expecting that. The, just the fact that it just showed out of nowhere, I was like, what the actual heck? Okay, so a gravity wall. Well, uh, that's sand. That is sand. What the actual heck? Oh, that's a puncture! Oh, that's not good. Ah! Cactus! Puncture! In space! Good to know. Okay, so once it's been... Man, there's a lot of puncture in here. Is this it? These are big ass plants. What's up with this thing? Definitely not going in there. Got to be careful of these punctures. So what's supposed to happen? Hold on. Okay, so apparently there was sand here. And once the sand drops, then we should be able to access like a lower floor. That's what the walks were saying. And once we do that, Okay, and then it's supposed to take us to a gravity room. How the heck does that work? Ah! Why did I do that? I just learned my lesson the first time. Still terrifying. So a receded room? That's what's supposed to happen? What is up with that? I feel like I didn't accomplish a lot, but I feel like I'm getting closer. Oh, two minutes of... Well, sorry, three minutes of oxygen. Ah, I wasted so much time on this, too. What am I supposed to do? I'm probably gonna have to YouTube this. Hey, what is this? This wasn't here before. That's interesting. What are these fruit? Or, uh, cat dye? I might actually have to watch a YouTube video of how to solve this one, because even I'm slightly confused. 
Just a little bit. There's something up there. It's some teleporter. I don't understand how we're supposed to do this one. Alright, let's just kind of end it because we're going to watch like a YouTube video of how to solve this because I'm kind of stuck. Alright, give me a sec, guys. Hmm. Okay, so, yep. Once the sand drops far enough, you'll find a gravity wall you can use to access a receded room beneath the initial room you enter. So vague, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to look this one up, because... Straight up, I, I honestly don't know how to do this one. Give me a sec.
Okay, yeah, that's an elaborate puzzle. So, I was on the right track, it's just that the sand has to literally suck up, I know how that sounds, the sand has to literally suck up the sand from the at, the Ember Twin, has to literally suck up the sand, I know how that sounds, and it, it's like a desert, it's like, it's like the mummy, or... The desert is literally being sucked up by the Ember Twin to reveal the hidden path. And I think that's pretty elaborate. I only watched just like the first 10 minutes of a YouTube video just to help me get through this because I was not figuring it out. I was like, okay, how do I do this? That was actually pretty cool. I, I actually like this one. But yeah, most of the planets, pretty much all of the planets, are very unique. They're not boring. To keep me guessing, I have no idea what I'm pretty much expecting most of the time. And that's an accomplishment. That's great level design. Great level design with an excellent story, fantastic presentation. The worlds are really well done. Please don't kill me in the sun again. I already died already. Match velocity. Back here again, and I know what to do this time. Does it look like the cockpit? Hmm, yeah, it's been damaged, so I think we're okay. Alright, case of the matter. We have to watch out for the Ember Twin because it will suck us up. I like right now. Watch the sand. Watch the sand. Yep, it's like, like you know, those people who chase a twister or a tornado. The concept's the same. We are literally chasing the sandstorm. Hopefully not get sucked in the process. I know how that sounds. Go into the fossil. <laughs> <sighs> 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 Wait, I think I saw something. Yep. Hurry, hurry! Okay. That's a good accomplishment. Just avoid the sand, that's the main thing. Alright, watch out for the Ember Planet because he will literally try to suck the sand like a vacuum. Okay, well, that's done. This was definitely an intriguing game. I definitely want to buy it. There's the Amber Planet. I haven't seen any of the sand yet. appreciate the kind of like the time cycle you have to actually wait a few times which is kind of crazy I don't see it A 
thought I saw it. And there it is. All right, proceed to. S uh, I'm not gonna finish that thought. Just try to avoid not getting in the world when. Okay, it looks like there's something there. Ah, the silhouette. Get up there. Looks like some hidden path. Scan there. Ah, dang it. I thought I could get in. Looks like a back entrance, though. Let's get in there. Was not expecting that. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and progressing with the Sun Station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will eventually fail explosively or succeed explosively. Pi, you don't know. You know, I don't find that funny. How curious. Roman thinks I'm a gas, and I don't recall requesting you to monitor this conversation. I don't see what's the state of the matter you. R has to do with this, and I don't recall supporting the Sun Station's construction. But here we are. Hypothesis: Time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Euro. That at least we can agree on. Interesting. That seemed very important. <sighs> More of these cacti. Freaking everywhere. And it's been 55 minutes. Mm. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. Really? Uh, uh. Velocity. We. Two. Hi. Ah. Uh. That's why I need it. Going down! And... I need to go in here. And... Made it. Watch out there, that. And let's put it in. Friends proceeding from the Hang City, we're playing the Ash Twin Project at the high energy level. Okay, we gotta go! Wait, where's this taking me? Shoot! Well, this happened. Quitting. <laughs> uh, how the heck did that happen? Well, I got a good grasp. Yeah, I got a good grasp of what we're doing. So we're going to the Astwin project, and we are gradually grabbing that. Put it in there over there, read the dialogue real quick, making sure we don't get sucked. And then somehow we had to kind of like. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll figure it out in between streaming. So I guess we'll be back. Hmm, interesting.